The governor's order this week to close bars, restaurants, gyms, and indoor entertainment venues is the very latest effort to get the pandemic under control. In addition, social gatherings with anyone from outside your household are prohibited. Now, these measures may seem extreme, but health officials say COVID cases are reaching crisis level and the prohibitions are warranted. And so, joining us now with the very latest is Amy Westbrook, Public Health Division Director with St. Louis County. Welcome, Amy. Thank you so very much for being here. Nine months of COVID, and now all of a sudden the holiday season. I think a lot of people know this could get dicey. Yeah, um, we are concerned about the holidays. You know, people um, love to gather during the holidays. Everyone does, joining with fa family, extended family and friends. Um, it's just not the right time to do that now. Um, so the governor's orders do uh, prohibit social gatherings with anyone outside of your immediate family, we your household. We can certainly see that the pandemic has worsened in the last few weeks, late summer going into fall. Uh, what are the governor's new regulations? Right, well, the governor um, issued additional orders last night, um, closing, basically targeting um, social gathering places. So restaurants, bars, uh, gyms, uh, uh, other places where people gather, retail is open, um, but places that um, especially 18 to 35 year olds tend to gather, that is the where we're seeing the biggest increase in cases um, across Minnesota. Amy, are there civil penalties for people who don't comply? Well, this isn't about enforcement. It's really about um, trying to get people to do the right thing. Um, it's not, um, yeah, we want compliance, we don't want enforcement. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that everybody takes these orders seriously and, um, and does stay home for the Thanksgiving holiday and um, really reconsiders their, their plans, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We all want to gather with family and friends, of when, course. Is there any indication as to perhaps when again we can start to social socialize uh, like maybe a lot of people have been doing and will it take an inoculation before that can happen do you think that's a good question uh, the, these orders are for four weeks um, which is two incubation periods for COVID-19 um, infection hopefully that will um, give us enough pause in community transmission to really make an impact. Mm -hmm. That's what we're hoping. And so um, until you know, mid-December, um, we'll at least have these orders in sure. place. A new public service announcement called the COVID REF has come out. Let's take a look at it and we can talk about it. A legal formation. What's the problem, COVID ref? This year, not gathering is the new gathering. Yep, this setup is just for our immediate household. What about that spot? That's for grandma. She's joining us virtually this year. There is no penalty. It's only halftime in this pandemic. Let's win this thing. Hi, COVID ref. <laughs> so is this going to be hitting the airwaves soon or is it already on the air? Yeah, it's already on the air and it'll run um, for sure through the end of the year. Is this being seen in Minnesota particularly? This is made for Minnesota? Uh, yeah, throughout the northeast part of Minnesota um, into Wisconsin even. How'd you come up with this idea or who came up with it, I guess? Um, well, it was a, a partnership. Um, we worked with Creative Arcade and our communications officer and then some, um, some people on our staff. It, it was just a, a fun idea. Um, that really, um, you know, we know that there's uh, a lot of people who um, don't want, you know, none of us want to yeah. do these sort of uh, prevention measures, but they're really important to do. And so it's just a fun way to portray what we really should be mm -hmm. doing, all of us. What are some of the restrictions the governor says we must comply with? Well, the governor um, does prohibit social gatherings, so anyone outside of a household should not be gathering. Um, it's highly advised not to travel. Um, and the, the settings that are closed are bars, restaurants, um, social places of social gathering, um, social events are canceled. Um, 
So those are all uh, places where we want people to take a pause from, you know, interacting with others. Mm -hmm. uh, this could affect wedding plans, mm -hmm. uh, certainly funerals. Uh, things of this nature where people normally gather? Right. It's unfortunate, um, certainly, that um, social events are just really not allowed right now. Uh, ceremonies are, but social gatherings and social events, such as weddings, are mm. not uh, allowed. What are symptoms of COVID? It seems like people have all sorts of different symptoms, depending on uh, who you happen to be. Sure. Um, well, there's a lot of different symptoms um, for COVID. Uh, it is a respiratory illness, so it's very similar to a lot of other respiratory illnesses. As we move into the fall and winter, um, we know that respiratory um, bugs are out there um, mm -hmm. in general, so it, it's difficult to tell the difference um, because they're very similar. But COVID-19 um, can present a lot of different ways, uh, fever, sore throat, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, um, all those symptoms um, are part of yeah. how it presents in people. Amy, a lot of people are asking, how long will it be before a vaccine truly is available? Yeah, that's a uh, that's a good question. Um, we we hope soon. Um, there, it looks like there's some good um, promises on the horizon. Um, we are uh, working with the Minnesota Department of Health and partners in in talking about how we'll prepare for um, receiving the vaccine and distributing the vaccine. Mm -hmm. It takes a whole system, so it really is a, a big um, a bit a big undertaking to get a vaccine of that. Can you sort talk of to us a little bit of how COVID is affecting local hospitals? Sure. Um, well, our biggest concern um, is that we don't want our hospital systems to be overrun. Um, we're seeing up to 30% of the hospital capacity um, be dedicated to COVID uh, patients. Um, that's concerning because we know that other health issues don't stop because of COVID. Um, we did a lot of planning in the fall, or in the, excuse me, in the spring and summer. The healthcare systems did a lot of planning and really prepared mm -hmm. for situations like these. So um, the sp space is, um, has been expanded. Um, staffing, certainly um, when we look at lots of different mm -hmm. places um, where we have uh, workplaces, we're seeing um, staffing shortages because people are out for isolation and quarantine, and that's not um, any different with healthcare. So um, there's a few issues, you know, when we're talking sure. about hospital capacity. We see a myriad of face masks. What might make up a good face mask? Well, a good face mask, to wear a good face mask is to make sure that your uh, nose and mouth are covered, that it fits well on your face so you don't have um, gaps um, where air can you know, be exchanged. Um, and it should be at least uh, two layers, um, preferably three of um, material. And it, it should fit well on your face so it doesn't slip or fall down. Well, I really appreciate you being here, Amy. Thanks so very much. You really filled us in on a lot of questions I think people had. So Amy Westbrook, St. Louis County Health Director, thank you very kindly. Thank you. Thanks for having me.